Hi all, welcome back to the shop. Um, I had some several questions regarding the G code, and uh, you know it's uh, uh, it could be very very complex, and there is a lot of uh, instruction regarding the G code. So, um, as a lot of people appreciate uh, the first uh, tutorial uh, with the basic, um, the proposal today is to make uh, this part. And you can see on, on the print, you have a, a 3D view um, on the left side. And uh, I will uh, show you different things uh, that are very helpful uh, when you are making the G-code. And uh, uh, I want to keep the very uh, simple things for you. Um, so um, that, that, I, um, that I create, um, I put a pen you know, on, the, on the head uh, because the, the milling head uh, is quite noisy. So it's, uh, it would be you know, very, very... Uh, difficult to explain you the situation so um, we will assume that this pen and I hope it will work uh, on a paper and I put some uh, card box just just below uh, it, it will be the cutting tool the only thing that you have to consider for that for this tutorial is the fact that uh, this cutting tool has no radius uh, we will cut uh, directly uh, you know on, on the profile uh, that we have here the other thing that uh, I want to show you um, is the fact that uh, um, the CNC machine and the controller is able to work either with imperial uh, dimension or also with uh, millimeters. So basically this machine uh, is designed and uh, is set up with millimeters, so a metric dimension. But um, <coughs> I will show you that uh, uh, it is very very easy to work with uh, inches. and. Um, uh, the print uh, that is here is uh, was made, you know, with imperial dimension, and uh, there is some a conversion uh, here uh, for for the people who are using the, the metric dimension. So uh, with this kind of machine and with very simple instruction, uh, we will see that it's very very easy, um, you know, to make uh, to make a part either with metric dimension or like uh, this print with uh, imperial dimension. So the first step we have to do is we have to make the, the zero uh, the, of the machine. So it's the first setup. And uh, <coughs> I have also to activate, um, let's say, the, uh, the tool. So uh, our pen will be the tool. And I, I, will, I will start you know, the tool. So uh, I use, uh, you know, Linux CNC. Uh, I know that a lot of, of you uh, know that uh, I use a base soft to control the CNC. And I will reduce a little bit, you know, the, the speed of the machine. And um, so here it is, uh, you know, the pen. And with the pen, you, you will be able to see uh, you know the copy of this print in the true dimension uh, so let's take the zero and the <coughs> the x the x axis uh, is here the the y is uh, is just there and uh, the zero zero for the stock is supposed to be here like on the print and then we will see uh, how we are able to manage uh, all the things so let's make the the zero on the, on, on the machine so uh, usually I use an edge finder but uh, with a pen you know it's not very easy and um, so we are quite quite good here uh, we'll reduce the speed a little bit. It will be more more easy to control the machine. And um, this way, okay. And uh, to make the Z uh, with the tool, I always use you know a kind of paper. And I I go down very slowly. Check the speed. So, reduce the speed of the Z to a very slow value hmm. because I don't want to break the tool, you know. So, 
so I think we are on the paper go a little bit down and here it is so let's say the machine that uh, this position is the x y z zero z zero y zero x zero done can go can go up can speed up the machine now man. okay so now let's start with the let's say with the milling operation uh, so we assume that uh, the pen uh, is the tool so the first thing uh, the first thing we have to do is we we are going to start uh, at this point so we we will have to travel uh, one inch and a half inch uh, on a x and y but the first thing to do uh, as the machine um, is already set up for a metric dimension we will take the machine that uh, we want to we want to run with let's say imperial dimension so to tell the machine uh, that uh, you only have to type g20 so g20 say the machine that we will work with imperial dimension if you type g21 uh, it will be uh, millimeters so now we we, uh, we flip in imperial dimension so you can see it's very easy uh, I take the sky view and I will set a machine now uh, to move regarding to the print X uh, 1 inches and Y half an inch so let's do that so G1 for let's say uh, uh, machining operation x y x1 y 0.5 with a speed of 80 so let's see what the machine will do so here it is so we are at a starting point uh, of the print here so we we will uh, get down to the material so <coughs> let's set a machine so G1 B0 with a feed of 20 so let's see if it works and hope uh, we don't break the tool okay so we, we are uh, at this point and uh, we will, will be able to start the machining operation. Um, one thing to know about the G-code is the fact that the machine is able to work either with absolute uh, dimension or you can use a relative dimension. And in this case, you can see that we are at this point, but the dimension we have uh, here, three inches, uh, give this, this point and it's uh, uh, that we can call a relative uh, moves regarding to this point so either you calculate all the print with uh, you know with the uh, the trigger the setup you have at the beginning or you can use you can tell the machine I want to move in a relative uh, in a relative way and I think the, the, the best way to do and uh, to do that you, you set a machine that uh, relative moves is G91 so you type G91 on the screen and for the machine now it's uh, uh, relative moves so it's uh, more easy uh, to control uh, the dimension regarding to this print so let's send out to the machine that we will have to move from three inches uh, to reach uh, this point so we say G1 X three inches at a speed of let's say 60 I don't know if uh, the, the pen will work correctly, but uh, let's see what it what it does. Okay, so it uh, it works pretty well. So you you have you can see the you can see the next point. So uh, we reach uh, this point. So the next thing we have to do is to tell the machine uh, to go uh, 
this way and uh, we are still in a relative you know uh, dimension so we will only work with the with the y-axis with four inches and uh, in this direction so let's say g1 y four inches with a speed of 60 with a feed of 60 so let's see what the result on a, with the machine So here it is. So now the, the next step will be at the starting point of the radius here. So as the radius is one inch and uh, the width is uh, three inches, uh, the relative moves from this point to this point is only two inches and it's on the x axis. So let's move back x minus two inches as we go on the left side. So G1 X minus 2 and, and the feeder is okay with 60. Let's see what it what it uh, produces on a machine. So we, we are reaching this point and now um, we have a radius. Um, I I put a radius uh, to teach you uh, what is the difference between, uh, you know, the, the different way of making a radius. And I will show you that it could be very, very simple. So uh, the finish point here will be regarding this point x minus 1 and y minus 1. And we'll say the machine, uh, we will turn in this way to reach this point with a radius of 1. And the way to, to say the machine uh, and it's uh, a counterclockwise moves, uh, it's uh, only a G3 with uh, <coughs> the final point and the radius. And uh, if you want to turn in a clockwise uh, moves, you only say G2. So in this situation, we say 3 J3 X minus 1 Y minus 1 and the radius is one inch with a feed of 20 with slow little bit and let's see the result uh, hope you can see the, the G code and let's see the result uh, on a CNC machine so here it is hope you can see the, the result with the radius so it's the same thing like uh, the print and uh, now uh, we will set a machine to to reach this point so um, th there is two ways to, to making that either we make the calculation of the relative moves uh, between uh, uh, this dimension and the radius or we can switch to the absolute value and set the machine to reach um, this point that is x one inch and y half inch uh, but we'll, we are in um, relative moves, so we'll keep uh, the, the relative move because it's more easy. So from this point to this point, uh, there is 3 inches, so 4 inches minus the radius, so 3 inches on the y-axis and in a minus way. So let's say G1 X minus 3 with a feed of, let's say, 15. So let's see the result. On the CNC, so it moves slowly. I'm, I'm satisfied about the pen and the tool. And now we only have to set the machine so um, move up, and uh, the part is done. So G0 V1. And the machine will go in a rapid move uh, in the upper position. Okay, so now let's stop um, the cutting tool. And it's my way of. Uh, and you can see uh, the result uh, that was created, and you can see also the, the print here. And uh, so I hope you find that this way very easy. So we're with using 
the Imperial um, and that's I can show you also is uh, on the screen here um, you, you have the shape uh, of the product so uh, it's a very basic things but uh, uh, as I have some uh, some requests of, of about, about uh, relative and absolute things and uh, imperial and uh, metric um, so I, I did short video um, hope you like it and uh, see you for our next video